Are you hungry? I am. I'm always hungry. I'm starving, and it's Taco Tuesday, and one man is on a quest for the best tacos in the area. Our Pat Gallen joined a local radio host on his culinary adventure with a few finalists from his upcoming Clash of the Tacos. Wait, who said you guys were eating anything? Oh, well, that's rude. I know. <laughs> Don't share. Okay. Uh, well, who doesn't love a good meal? And for the last decade plus, Glenn Macnow from 94 WIP has been searching and eating and eating and eating his way around the Delaware Valley for the best of the best. And for the third year running, I joined him for a day to get my grub on. It's not just rice and beans. Mexican food, and specifically tacos, is so much more. And here in media, we hang out with 94 WIP's Glenn Macnow. He is looking for the best taco in the Delaware Valley. It's the clash of the tacos, and this is Dos Gringos. Glenn Macnow has been on the hunt for the top cuisine in the area for the last 12 years. So why tacos? I think that tacos is something becoming more and more popular. It's become a real standard kind of food that people go out for, like wings, like pizza, like whatever, let's go out for tacos. Sure. And when I started to look at it, Pat, I saw so many great Great places all over town. I figured this is the good one this year. Dos Gringos is one of his finalists for his Clash of the Tacos, May 6th at Delaware Park. Owner Greg Quintiliano opened it about seven years ago in downtown media, where he says a Mexican restaurant was sorely needed. We've stuck to the idea of keeping everything very high quality, try to do everything in house, um, and offer the best items we can. So I think, I think that's what's really helped us set ourselves apart from what we have here in terms of competition. Greg's taco assortment stood out to Glenn and Pico de gallo would my interest. It was truly a feast. Our short rib tacos. Oh, those are good. With the pickled red cabbage, the shoestring sweet potatoes, right. and crema, and it's fresh cilantro. Oh, this one is the taco of the week. So this is the Monty tacos. Oh, look with at that. Orange yeah. cactus salsa. Uh -huh. With four options, it was time to dig in. So you can tell with them, they use really fresh ingredients. That right. fish is really flaky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love jicama too. Big jicama fan. Mm -hmm. Underrated. This is literally like a five pound weight. This thing yeah, is, this is a heavy. heavy one. This is mm -hmm. hefty and I like that. Right. Glenn says Dos Gringos is a finalist because of their creativity. They blend the flavors. They cook it well. They cook it themselves. It's all homemade. This is a good place. How would I describe this experience? Really good. Thank you to those gringos tacos out there in media, some fantastic tacos. And joining me now, Paul Lolio from Jefe Taco. Good morning, my friend. How you doing, Pat? I'm doing well. Congratulations, by the way. They've got a place on Frankfurt Avenue in Fishtown, just opened one up across the street on Spring right Garden across street. The street. How's it going? It's going well so far. Good. Just rolled out our delivery and catering, so I want to put that out there to everybody. Beautiful. All right, you've brought us a wonderful display and spread of different tacos. What do we have here? What should we expect? during the clash of the tacos? So we like to do a gourmet taco. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Mexican fare, but it's influenced uh, Mediterranean and American. Okay. Blend it all together to make what you see in front of you. All right, what are we seeing here? Let's go one by one. So here's our almost pastor. It's a pork taco with ancho mayo, pineapple, and a little Mexican cheese. Beautiful. Uh, here we have our Mac Daddy. That was heavy. What's in there? That is beef cheek. Um, beef cheek. Chimichurri tossed arugula. Okay. And beef cheek. An apricot mustardo. Never heard of it, but it sounds good. <laughs> it what is about good. this one? <laughs> this is our polio. Okay. So this is our uh, crispy chicken thigh. Nice. Uh, with an uh, ancho mayo. Okay. As well as chimichurri cabbage. Lovely. And finally? Finally, the kraken. The this kraken. is the different one. Okay. This I'm is a different. fried octopus taco. Ooh. Some chimichurri. There we go. A little bit of spicy tomato jam. All right. A little garnish on top. Now, I know some people might be afraid of something like octopus, but that's what makes you stand out and what will stand out that's, in the Clash of the Tacos. That's what we do. We like to make ourselves different. We like to do a different dynamic than everybody else, and we stand behind it. Tacos that don't suck. I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to dig in. We're going to wrap here. We're going to head to a break, and you're going to watch me munch down. Glenn Macnow's Clash of the Tacos happening May 6th at Delaware Park. Paul Olio from Jefe. I'll let you know. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs>